Okay, November, November 29th, 2023, the Los Angeles Lakers um, defeated the Detroit Pistons um, 133 to 107. Um, looking at the box score, and it looked like we had 99% attendance, so um, pretty much a sellout. Um, I can't say that Little Caesars was rocking. I think that when I look at Little Caesars now, I look at it as um, like a giant club. Like, I think people go there to be seen, to, to see other people, but it ain't for the basketball. Like, I didn't hear one boo. I didn't hear nothing. Like, people just don't care. We don't expect this team to be good. And at this point, um, it's just another place to be on a Wednesday night. Um, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the box score and I see I see that um <clears throat> I see that Killian Hayes played 22 minutes. Now Jay Nivey played 19. Jalen Duran played 18. Asar, Asar Thompson played 21 minutes. Um Killian Hayes was 0 for 3 from three-point land. Uh, he did have eight assists, so I guess I'll give him that. But I just <laughs> at this point, at this point, I can only assume, I can only assume that Killian is playing because there's some kind of romantic connection between him and the coach. Because he's getting the type of favoritism that you only show to somebody that you that you you know like creeping around with. Um if that's not the case, I'm dying to know whatever Ivy, whatever Thompson, whatever they're doing to play less minutes than Killian Hayes, I'd like to know, like, what's the end goal? Because when you make moves like this, usually when you bench players that we deem to be um, super talented or that we think deserve to play, normally when that happens, there's some type of um, um, positive outcome. Like, you're like, oh, he benched my man. And we started winning ever since. Or he traded so-and-so away, and we turned it around. But this little benching, you know, like not playing Ivy, it don't seem to be working. It don't seem to be a winning idea. Nothing is getting better. I'm not looking at this team and coming away thinking, like, we ain't winning, but, you know, we – we looking better. I'm not coming away with that. It's like we out there playing. And at this point, we are essentially a college team. Like we are getting we are getting an answer to the question. Like, what would you do if you put a college team up against a pro team? Like we are see we're seeing it. We're seeing it now. None of these people on this team know how to win in the NBA. And the veterans we got are 12 men on other teams. So like Burks, I love him. Like he, he, like he always been underrated, but he clearly here just collecting the paycheck. He clearly here just have, he don't care. He cool. I look like he, he the most nonchalant, like just chill player ever. And that's fine. If you're on a team that, don't need you to be a voice in the locker room or whatever, but he's just out there hooping. And that's what they are doing. They are just out there hooping. And I'm tired of it, man. This is the most embarrassing time. I was thinking about it today. Like, it's some people that was in that arena tonight, some fans that was there, that don't even remember Chauncey and Rip and all of them. Like, to them, this is Pistons basketball. Like they don't remember when we had something to play, when we were expected to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Like they don't, they that, that's like not even a reality to these people. 
James Wiseman. Why is he on the team? We traded Sadiq Bay for James Wiseman. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think about Troy Weaver. Troy Troy Weaver. He was highly sought after because he had a hand in drafting James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Kevin Durant to the Oklahoma City Thunder. I can't give him credit for that. He drafted three no-brainers, three people that I would have drafted. I got the number two pick in the draft, Kevin Durant right there. I'm drafting him. Now I'm seeing, after we saw that he he traded for, what's the big goofy dude, Jaleel Okafor. He traded for, <laughs> or signed a trade, I don't know what it, but some kind of way we wound up with Nerlens Noel. We got Marvin Bagley. We got James Wiseman. Like, you could tell this is a dude that read, <clears throat> like, Sports Illustrated mock drafts and look at these past drafts and say, oh, that dude, he was, he was cold coming out of college. He was good enough to be the number two pick. I'm going to put him in the right situation. He got to be good if he was the number two pick. And he just throw shit together. Nobody on this team knows how to build a winner. We got Asar, Asar Thompson. When we when he was playing in the summer league, what do we see from him? Excellent court vision. <clears throat> we haven't seen that since. Like he's playing off the ball as a player that can't score off the ball. Like <clears throat> the dude clearly show the ability to be a playmaker to um to create shots for other people and we we not seeing him play to that potential at all Jalen Durant just a beast just just full of energy super athletic what we doing with him just saying hey go run around if you get an offensive rebound put it back in like there's no nothing no types of plays called for him that would benefit his athletic ability like no do we even run any type of pick and rolls ever like ever like i, I don't know I, I watched i watched the play today when killian hayes went and did a hard dribble like 16 feet away from the basket and why is no bagley was standing like four feet away from him he just bullet passed a, a chest pass to him for no i don't even know what the fuck I don't know what that was. I don't know what it was. And then, and then, of course, Bagley, like, airballed it or something. But, like, <clears throat> how are we using these people? Stewart. Stewart is, I, I actually like Stewart. I think that he's valuable, but he's he's an energy player. He reminds me of Jason Max Hill. Like, dude going to bring you energy, going to bring you toughness. Use him for that. You go in there, bang, bang around, bang, get, get dirty, irritate people, annoy people, do that. I don't want you, I don't want you shooting threes, bro. He shot seven threes. He shot the, he shot the most threes. My Charles Oakley is shooting threes out here. And then Cade, Cade, I like, I think Cade is a dope, a dope player. He's a solid player. He's, he's definitely a starter and a starting caliber player borderline all-star but um he ain't the man <laughs> he ain't he ain't that he ain't somebody that you're gonna build a team around and 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 go far with the love him to death but he, he ain't that it ain't happening with him could he be a piece i think he'll be a, i think he'll be like at, at his peak like we can get like that jamal murray roll out of him where he just a dog like like just you know, just a, a a a dependable, reliable, solid guard. I'm happy. I'm happy. But we don't have anybody that knows how to put that together. Like we, like we literally out there playing, like we playing at the Lifetime Fitness on on a Wednesday night, and it's. It's sad, and when I see a, a Moody, a Moody, Stanley, a Moody, when I see him in the game, I know we ain't serious about winning. I know it because he he just a, he just a dude that can hoop. He can he 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 he's a dude in the church league that can hoop, but he's not an NBA player. He 
he's a he's he's a G League player. He played he played more minutes than Ivy. Sasser, I really like Sasser. And honestly, that's who I think that's who I think we should like really get a green light to. He only had eight shots. Killian Hayes had nine. I would have liked to seen eight of those shots from Killian go to Marcus. This is this is sad. Kevin Knox. I know he came in at garbage time, but Kevin Knox. Then Isaiah Livers is Isaiah Livers is a, a, a solid basketball player. What are we doing with him? Nobody has a role that's defined on this team. Only person that does, I take that back. Only person that kind of does is Asar to a certain extent. Like, we know he's like that defensive, like, just fucking all first team defensive guru, master lockdown defender dude. But it ain't because Monty said he wanted him to. It's just because that's naturally what he is. He's just a super gifted defender and he's embraced that role and it's obvious that's what he needs to be but nobody else really has a role here like like it's it's weird and the solution i think the only solution is something that can't happen and the solution is to get the right coach in here. Because this ain't the type of team, I don't think this is the type of team where you can have a, a quiet, like, shy and reserved coach. You know, I think I think Dwayne Casey's attitude was great for this team. I just don't think he knew much about coaching. But I think, or about, you know, executing shit. But I do think that... I do think that we need a, a coach and we need about two two or three OGs, like veterans, on the team. And call me crazy, but I would have gave Draymond whatever you wanted. Not because he's talented. Not be, I mean, not because he's going to do much and light the box scores up, he, he might not have averaged double figures. But damn it, he would have brought that toughness that we need. That's what we need. We need toughness. We we have an identity. We have a culture. And we ain't been the same since we went away from it. We went away from it when we signed Villanueva and Ben Gordon. Joe Dumars was really open about wanting to score more and wanting to be more of a finesse up tempo team that's not us we need some dogs we need some dogs people could just score on us when they want to they don't feel nothing like people out here like not even breaking a sweat most of the teams we play don't even play they star players so we need <clears throat> we need a we need a coach and we need veterans so I don't know who's out there. I don't know who's available. I think speculating on trades and all that is the dumbest thing in the world because we have no idea who's available. Like, who... We, we don't know. That's why every time a blockbuster trade happens, it comes from out of nowhere because, like, these dudes just call each other, negotiate, bring up names ain't nobody thought about. They got people that make salary salaries work and match up and all that. We'll never know. But whoever it is, whoever's out there, they can put their arms around these kids and teach them how to be men. Like whoever it is, that's what we need here. Because right now, ain't nobody here to do that. We just got blew out by 30 and I watched everybody just walk off the court. Wasn't nobody cussing nobody out or nothing. But like they... 
they probably at home chilling right now. And, you know, they're going to go to practice tomorrow. Monty probably going to say some monotone shit. And I don't know, but they need a, they need adults. They need people that's going to push them. <clears throat> and they ain't got that right now. Because Boban, I, I don't even know if he with the team. And Burks, Burks chilling. He, he, he just there. He. I don't even. I've never heard him say a word. I'm actually gonna look up an interview, but like I think those are by far. Bobine and Alec Burks are by far the oldest people on the team. So <laughs> embarrassing time, but um, it can't last forever. Uh, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta catch a break at some point. Um, you know. We've won championships before, um, but this season is a wrap. Like, I'm, I know it's gonna happen. I know we gonna win, but I don't see who we can beat. Like, we 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 play like a college team. Like, we just don't know how to win. So um, that's all I got. Just had to get this off my chest. Um, Thank you for listening.